Hiya. Welcome to the Garden Whisperer. I'm Ed, and this little guy you see he is CK. <coughs> my trusted gardening helper. It's your friendly neighborhood narrator. Instead of pottering about in our usual green wonderland, we're stepping into a darker part of nature today. We're about to dive into the potentially lethal world of mushrooms. Yes, you heard it right. Deadly mushrooms. But wait, before we delve into this morbidly fascinating world, could you do us a favor? Click that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell. You don't want to miss out on our trek through the dangerous side of nature, do you? Let's start off our perilous journey with the notorious fly agaric. You might recognize this infamous toadstool from children's fairy tales and even your favorite video games. No, it won't give you extra lives. This bad boy can spread its cap up to a whopping 20 centimeters in diameter, standing tall with a stalk of similar stature. Its vibrant red cap dotted with white may seem inviting, but it's anything but. Beneath its whimsical exterior, this toadstool contains a cocktail of hallucinogenic acid and other toxins that have a host of unpleasant effects. Think vomiting, nausea, diarrhea. And for some, these symptoms can escalate to a far graver outcome, death. All things considered, this isn't a mushroom you'd want to have a run-in with. All right, you've had your breather. Now we delve into the deceitfully named death cap. The name is a big clue, isn't it? But don't let its unassuming appearance fool you. This is one wicked mushroom hiding in sheep's clothing. Its cap can be anything from 4 to 13 centimeters in diameter and convex when young, flattening out as it matures. Its evil lies in its uncanny resemblance to rather harmless mushrooms like puffballs or straw mushrooms. It's the master of disguise, an assassin in the world of fungi. The stalk, which can be anywhere from 5 to 13 centimeters high and up to 2 centimeters thick, is as deadly as it gets. It's the spores you really have to watch out for. They are lethal. Even the slightest contact with them could be enough to take out a small child, so it's crucial to dispose of anything that may have been growing near a death cap. If you accidentally touch one of these death caps, remember to scrub your hands thoroughly before touching any food or even your face. You don't want this death dealer getting into your system. But the truly sinister part about this mushroom, the poison works slowly. The toxins may take up to 24 hours to start showing their deadly effects. It's like a time bomb, ticking away, unbeknownst to the victim. It's a grim reminder that not all mushrooms are friendly fungi, and that nature has its fair share of dangers lurking beneath its beautiful facade. Next up, we have the Destroying Angel. Quite the celestial name for such a lethal fungus, isn't it? These angels are anything but heavenly. They can range from bulbous when young to fully expanded caps of 5 to 12 centimeters in diameter. The stalk can reach heights of 10 to 20 centimeters. Their white caps might seem harmless enough, mimicking the innocent appearance of some edible mushrooms. But don't let that fool you. These deadly doppelgangers have earned their morbid moniker causing kidney and liver dysfunction that can quickly turn fatal. The name says it all for our fourth mushroom, the funeral bell. This is no ordinary bell you'd want to ring. Small and brown, it looks fairly innocent. But inside, it carries a toxin called protoplasmic poison. Ingestion of the funeral bell causes severe liver damage accompanied by a litany of symptoms including vomiting, diarrhea, and hypothermia. The real kicker, in just 24 hours, the toxins would be fully digested and trigger your doom. In severe poisonings, patients might even require complete blood dialysis or a liver transplant to survive a truly grim toll from this deadly bell. Finishing up our list, we have the fittingly named Sigana. This mushroom has earned its name through the violent reaction it causes when ingested. Perhaps you might think of it as nature's cruel joke. Given its deceivingly appealing appearance, varying in colors from red, pink, to the occasional white, its alternative name, Caesar's Mushroom, brings a touch of foreboding into the mix, suggesting a certain cruel fate due to its harmful nature. 
What's tricky about this mushroom, aside from its potential to induce a violent bout of vomiting, is the variability in its appearance. Identifying the sickener requires a keen eye and detailed knowledge. The spore print, cap collar, gill attachment, even the odor need to be considered to ensure you're not falling for this deadly doppelganger of edible varieties. Just a tiny mistake can lead to severe dehydration, especially dangerous for those with pre-existing health conditions. What a journey. It's fascinating to know about these deadly mushrooms, but remember, these are not for your garden or your plate. Safety first, folks. Oh, and don't forget, if you enjoyed our little jaunt into the darker side of nature today, or if you are simply a fan of CK, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell. Join us for more of our nature treks. Until next time, stay curious, and stay safe. Happy growing, and cheerio!